Hi guys. So the story of Enigma machine in World War II was that they literally gathered the smartest folk around Great Britain to break the code of the Nazi Enigma uh, encryption device. And anyway, so the smartest people were thinking, 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 thinking. They finally cracked the code. And so this stuff took the smartest mi minds of whole Great Britain. And when they cracked the code, they actually did not use it, use the knowledge, even when they could encrypt the messages. They would, there would be fleets of German submarines and stuff move, moving about, and they could have actually done something. But they did not want to do something, and people died because of that, because they wanted to use it only for the most important things. It wasn't important that sometimes a couple ships sunk and perhaps 100 people died. So cryptographic keys are that important. And to do them, to encode, decrypt, to design, took the smartest people in the whole freaking world. Now, I have brain damage, I'm stupid as a pile of rocks. And I had this stupid idea back in 1980s that what if uh, I had Oliver Thiel, I'm 20 back then, uh, and Amiga. And in, anyway, with Oliver, I remember I did this stupid uh, basic code that was just drawing sign functions on the screen and circles, and there would be an inference pattern. And I remember I realized that this could be used as cryptographic key. Like if you would share the image and you would share uh, a message was coded with it. And so you would, uh, both, like two parties would have this code. So they could just share the images. And the, the software would be able to use the image as a decryption, encryption device. And I gave this idea to ChatGPT. And ChatGPT in moments wrote code. And so what we are doing here, we, is run, we are running Gradio backend at my computer. And so encryption. Nazi Germany has nuclear bomb. We put C to uh, 424. So let's remember that 424. Submit. Here is our here is our image, and let's save the image. And now, so 424. We copy the encrypted message. We download the image, and so here we have at the other end. Uh, we are going to upload the image, and we are going to put the encrypted thing here, there's the key, 424. So here we are telling for the Americans, we are sending from London and we are just sending uh, this key here and decrypt and Nazi Germany has no people. <laughs> Can you guys imagine like <laughs> me, a dumbass, make this? just spoke with ChatGPT and came up with this idea. Now anyone can imagine schemes like this endlessly, all day long. Just by talking to ChatGPT, it's going to write you code. Of course, there's a flaw there. You talk to ChatGPT, there's probably, I don't know, there's FSB, CIA, NSA. Every single intelligence service in the world is probably has hacked into open AI offices and servers. And whatever you're talking with them, it's like everybody will know. But if you're talking with your local uh, local uh, AI, now in a few years, we all are going to have super smart AIs on our computers. You plug out the Ethernet cable, nobody's going to know. Anyone come up with sch uh, schemes like this. It's going to be weird. It's going to get weird. But anyway, yeah. I hope you guys saw that.